What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix a crack in an existing corner bead without actually removing the corner bead and starting fresh. If you guys like what you see, hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Now I'm going to show you guys what tools and products you're going to need to do this. So I'm going to be using a Milwaukee crown stapler. You don't have to use the battery powered stapler. You can use a manual stapler or an electric one fiber mesh tape, a six inch knife, an eight inch knife, a mud pan, some sheetrock uh, or hot mud. I'm going to be using sheetrock 20 because it dries faster and especially on painted surfaces. Uh, anything you put on a painted surface is going to take at least double, triple the amount of time to dry if there's no fan on it. And to mix up the sheetrock, I'm going to be using the advanced equipment little mini mixer on a DeWalt drill. Now as you can see, a little bit of a closer view here, we have a cracked corner bead. So I'm going to be painting this stairwell, so I'm going to repair this corner bead before I get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stapler, I'm going to make sure the bead is tight to the crack here, and I'm going to staple it. And you can never have enough staples. The paint's going to bust up like that, it's no big deal. You actually want any of that loose paint to come off. Now even though it's not cracked up here, I'm still going to staple it just in case. Okay, now that you got it stapled, what you're going to do is you're going to take your fiber mesh tape and you're going to mesh that crack all the way to the top. Like so. Okay, so now that you have it all meshed, you're gonna take your mud pan, a six inch knife, your sheetrock, mix some water with it, and uh, I'm gonna be using the drill with the advanced equipment mini mixer. You can also use a knife and mix it up in the pan. this I always like to add a little bit more water and add powder slowly as I go okay now that we got that all mixed up we are ready to apply it to the wall okay so with your six inch knife you're going to apply it to the wall
Okay, so now that we got the first coat done, don't worry too much about what it looks like. You're gonna put at least one more coat over top of that. Even if you see some of the mesh peeking out a little bit here and there, just leave it, let it set up. This is just your base coat. This is what is going to make that corner bead rock solid. Now remember, make sure you use hot mud, sheetrock, uh, Durabond, anything like that. Don't use regular mud for your first coat or you will probably get that crack again. Okay, now I got the second coat applied. What I did was I used the eight inch knife because the first coat we went six inches. Second coat, you wanna go a little bit further than that six inches to help feather out the corner bead. So I got the second coat on there with my eight inch knife. Gonna wait for that to set up. Then give it a light skim with some regular mud to make it easy to sand and then we're ready to go. And there you have it. I got a skim coat on it. I'm going to wait for that to dry. I'm going to give it a sand. I'm going to prime it and she's ready for paint. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button on your way out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And there we have it. First coat of paint on. The crack is gone.